Jackie, in much either. You had two bacon bodies, I saw you. Yeah, well, I forced myself. Right, I'm going to text him. Dan, drag him in. Dan's ill. Well, he didn't sound ill, he sounded shifty. No, don't do that. No, I'm coming with you. I... No! Look, we decided. I'm taking him. You haven't eaten Everyone... anything. Well, not everybody needs a full English before they leave the house. You can't put all this on yourself. I'm not. Victoria's going to be there. No, that's the last thing he's going to need, isn't it? You two at each other's throats. Oh, give me some credit. I don't want you there, OK? Mind if I borrow some of your hair stuff? What have I said? <sighs> He doesn't like talking about you, Sig. No. I don't yes. care. Well, help yourself. Ah, oh, cheers. Thought I should look my best for it. Or shouldn't you be leaving? If you say so. Good luck, mate. Oh, thanks. You're still out there? I'm polishing. You are? Your dad. I think he's getting a bit obsessive over the furniture. Mm. God knows what he's going to do when they start leaving wet glasses and port scratchings all over the place. <laughs> Keys. Oh, yeah. Right, uh, four canisters in the corner of the cellar. Mm. Don't, uh, don't offer to help her out. I've only got pub lunches to do and about a million burgers to barbecue. That's if I can remember how to fix up the gas. That's all right, that Marlon. Sawdust from the builders. You do realise that folk are going to be putting stuff on them tables, don't you? Just check in. Go Matty and Victoria picked the right day to have off, didn't they? But what could I say? What are you actually doing, anyway? I just wanted to say something about the little tree. Just a few words, seeing as everybody's there. OK. Keep it short. Yeah. But I do want to say something, cos I didn't say anything at the funeral, did I? Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I meant... I meant, you know, we... We wanted to make today fun, didn't we? So I don't want you upsetting yourself. Well, if there's no tell, so I'll wash my hands and get out of your way. There is something. Is it the sun brolly stands? The what? No, it's not that. Because it's on my list. It's, it's nothing to do with the brolly stands. Would you mind if I ran this by you? Just see what you think. Yeah, well, like, it's, it's, not, my, um, it's not my number one skill. Speeches. But, uh, I'll be glad to help. It's got to be my worst nightmare, that. Not knowing if you're alone in the house or there's some stranger creeping round. I'd rather not talk about it. My mind has a habit of playing tricks on me as it is. Creaking floorboards, banging pipes. Hey, there was this one night when, after my steep, went. When I sprinkled a load of drawing pins on the landing, in case anyone crept in in their stocking feet. A really thoughtful burglar would taking his outdoor shoes up. Thanks. Oh, silly. You take the shoes off so they don't make a noise. Anyhow, I should have been a bit cleverer. What will my bladder be as it is? Middle of the night and I'm hopping round screaming. What's she on about? Hey, yeah. Uh, what are you doing later? This is for Chaz's thing at the pub. She wants us to drum up some interest. I don't think I'm really in the mood. Oh, go on, it might cheer you up. He's right, you know. And you promised me you won't go into fester. Eh, uh, no festering. I'll come with you. I'll think about it. Thanks. Oh, I'm sorry to go all wet lettuce on you. It's not my usual style. All right. Oh, thanks for coming. I want to miss it for the world. So what's happening? Just endlessly waiting. Punctuated by Mum moaning on about all the work she's not doing. I was just saying we need another farm hand. Wasn't complaining. Oh, hello, is she for us? Hi there. Matty, hi, I'm Dr Gibson. I'll be your anaesthetist. Hi, I'm Matty's mum. So, as you probably know, the surgery will take a couple of hours. Uh, is there anything we should be doing now? Just relaxing the best you can. Yeah, I'm praying for my nipples, yeah. <laughs> but make sure the surgeon's wearing his glasses. Don't want to point in different directions. Oh, too close together. <laughs> exactly, you know, what's dodgy looking nipples, do they? I need to check your heart rate. Yeah, well, after half an hour of mum's farming stories, I am flatlining. Seriously, the job's half done. No cough, cold, or sore throat? No. Good. As discussed, we'll be giving you a general anaesthetic, meaning you'll be completely asleep. You'll feel a bit groggy afterwards, but we'll keep you in overnight so you can find your feet. Oh, hello. 
Hello, pulled a sickie. Can't sell the boss. We're getting all historical when we should be working. Amelia needed some help on her history project. All the bows and your unspeakables and half the country drop it like flies. The Black Death. So I was just passing, having dropped Kyle off at Holiday Club, and I wondered if you were going to this thing at the pub. Uh, I'm not sure if we've got time, have we, love? Besides, if it gets back to Kane, I'll be getting the Black Death and all. Oh, uh -huh. look at this. Oh, flaming neck. The drill holes in your head to let the evil spirits out. Ooh. I think I'll just go. No, no, stay for dinner. I don't think no. so. No. Stay. No, I insist. Please have these on me. What do you want? Oh, you're a cynic. I do need a favour, actually. Which will be fun. For you. OK, listen, the weirdest thing. The puppet tent is all set up outside, yeah? But the guy... Well, the puppet guy himself... He's not coming, he's just text. He's lost his voice. What's that idea me? Oh, come on. For your mum. <laughs> you joke. All right, for Paddy, then. You know how much this means to him, to all of us. It's a like a children's entertainer. Yeah, really unpleasant one. Ah, oh, brace positions. All right, girls, you here for the beer garden thing as well? Yeah. Hey, I know what'll lift the mood. There's room on the guest list if anyone fancies a night out. Oh, well, if there's free drink involved, I'm in. VIP area, unlimited bit. People are literally killing each other to see this DJ. Literally? How did you, uh... Friend of a friend and of a friend. Listen, I'm getting a drink before the whole beer garden thingy kicks off. Let me know if you're up for it and I'll stick you on the list. First refusal, girls. Oh, now you're talking my language. <laughs> ah, nice one, young man. So, um... Oh, thought... uh, oh. What? Oh, sand on them tables must have set off an old ache. I carry that many injuries from the ring that I ache when I bend down, I ache when I kneel, and I ache when I sit. Does it ache when you do that? Just thought I'd, uh, I'd, I'd thank everyone for being there and then talk about the beer garden, pretty straightforward. And then I wanted to say something about Gracie, really. Just that she's still there, in spirit. And it's good that everyone can enjoy themselves around her, that life goes on, you know. Aaron? Um, hey, listen, Aaron can cheer you up with the puppet show. Yeah, do one of your silly voices. Hang on, then. Come move up. Let's hear your speech, come on. I'll go through with you. Bottom fifth of the barrel, this, I reckon. I am so, so hungry. Back in time for tea tomorrow, Mum. Better get pie in. Oh, uh, beef and ale or chicken and mushroom? Uh, if I'm this hungry, I'm having both. <laughs> and then I'm out for a nice pint and natto with cane. A natto? Well, you know what he's like once he gets going. <laughs> oh, it's no fun, is it, waiting? Not really. Mum, you know I love you, yeah? Oh, of course I do. Well, I'm just getting out of there. Case, you know. Oh, yeah, I don't want to hear it. Here we go. Remember, Tim? Yeah. Everything's going to be okay. Yeah, we'll be here for when you get back. Thanks. I mean it. Thanks for, you know, doing this for me. I love you. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm going to go to the cafe and get myself something to eat. Myra, find You know, that's a great idea. You go find a cafe and stuff your face. You know, you encouraged him to have this operation and now it seems like you're making light of it. Well, if anything goes wrong with him in near Victoria, I will never forgive you. You try and talk him out of it. I'll tell you what I didn't do. 
downplay how serious it is. Why, Ra? He's not stupid. But it seems to me that you want it both ways. You want to act the dutiful mum when he can hear and then blame me when he can. Oh, listen, I'm not going to get into who's right and who's wrong competition. I have done nothing but support him. I am worried too. So I do get how you feel. I don't think you have a clue how I'm really feeling. Can you imagine what it was like to walk into her room that morning and just find her there? And... You're talking about all this? The day before, she was so full of excitement over her future and thinking that everything was going to change the next day. She never woke up. This is so not the same. I know it's not the same. It just, it just feels. I don't know. It, it, it just doesn't feel right. It feels like I'm not going to be able to breathe properly until he wakes up and I'm talking to him again. She apologised for putting it all on me. None of this is funny. It's ironic, grant me that. I don't know if I can carry on with this. You're too nice. You need to toughen up. What if she's changed? Cos she's been nice to you now, she's all of a sudden got your best interests at heart. It's guilt. It's a pity she wasn't so troubled by it back then. When you were this high and vulnerable, she could have done something about it. She had the chances, trust me. Go on. She could have adopted you. Would have been easy. It was all laid out for her. But she didn't want you done. Hi, Harriet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I didn't think. My fault, miles away. Easter prep. Oh. Yeah, Jay's given us an extra long lunch hour so we can go to Chaz's thing. Sorry, I feel really bad now. No, I'm just being stupid. I can't let it get to me. Harriet's going over to that as well, aren't you? Apparently, I'm not allowed to fester. Hmm. What time is it? We'll go over together if you like. Uh, I think it's about quarter, uh, quarter to one or something. <clears throat> hey, you all right? Oh, I'm being well looked after. I hope. Aren't you at the hospital? Well, Dan's off sick and it's Chaz's do, isn't it? That's very understanding of Moira. Well, she doesn't want me there. What makes you think that? Because she said I don't want you there. Well, I said that when Sarah's in hospital, but I'm still glad when you came. All that time she was cooking your tea, reading your bedtime stories, knowing full well she was going to abandon you to the authorities, they pretty much begged her. Said they'd do whatever they could to support her if she'd just take you under her wing. She's as hard as nails. How many people down the years do you reckon she's chucked behind bars? You mean criminals? I mean people whose lives haven't gone the way they wanted for whatever reason. Just that people like her don't care. Or about how it might feel to be cut off from the world and having to keep looking over your shoulder. Oh, you reckon it was a walk in the park, do you? So how does this end? Where does what end? The fun and games. I don't know. For her, badly. You really don't know, do you? Look, if you want out, just say. Although I won't pretend that I'm not disappointed. I didn't think you'd take her side. Okay, so you got that stuff about Malcolm Regis with the map? Malcolm who? <laughs> it's a place. You know, it's where the plague first landed. But you had no idea homework could be so much fun. This is horrible. What do you expect? A tea party? That's a thought. We'll get the kettle on. All this talk of favours getting me parched. I'll go. That's oh, okay. I said I'll go. Fancy a smoothie from up the road? Oh, uh, really? Yeah, I could have a bit of fresh air. Uh, come with us, keep us company. Uh, uh, you, want, you want anything? No, thanks. Right. I told you, nobody can keep this up. Well, it's only till the end of the school year. The longer you leave it, the worse it's going to be. Oh. Thank you. 
I'm sorry about before. Doesn't matter. No, I, I shouldn't have said it, and, and I didn't mean it. I know you've been a good friend to Matty. <sighs> Go slowly. Yeah. I've seen him being wheeled off. I, it's harder than I expected. Because it was like saying goodbye to Hannah. No, it's not. Maybe a bit. He was already taking the hormones when he came back. It was a done deal. He got to explain it to me. I, I tried to understand. And now I think I do. But I was never a part of the decision making. This is this is different. I mean, I was so glad that he's happy, and I know that he wants this more than anything. But it's not just pills and injections, it's anaesthetics and scalpels and bandages. I mean, it's scary. I couldn't save Holly, and it's my fault that Adam's gone. But I've helped Matty get this far. And I, I know he's old enough to do what he wants, but... I just feel like I'm partly responsible for him being in there right now. And... What if I lose him too? We won't. I'm sure of it. Yeah. All right? Who got the burgers out? Who? Oh, Sam did. I could see you tottering around like flipping Basil Faulty and asked if he could do out. Brilliant. Very helpful of him. And he mixed them all up, did he? I don't know. You stop being such a chef, Marlon. They're all going to taste the same once they've been on the barbie. Great. Yeah. I'll tell the vegetarians that, shall I? You got my group texted, didn't you? Where's Mum and Fishy? So, who's this uh, friend of a friend? <laughs> When I was in my teens, I did a bit of work for a PR company in the East End. Of London? What work? Uh, unpaid work, like an internship. Kettle boiler. <laughs> Pretty much. A lot of team making, but I got to go with clients to events, take photos for the website, and that whole nightclub world. Ooh. I met all the top promoters and DJs. That sounds pretty glam. <laughs> I know. Can you believe it? <laughs> Honest working class daughter of a simple doctor and solicitor. <laughs> I, I hear you're a bit of a nightlife entrepreneur yourself. Am I? Oh, for goodness sake. Haven't you got some, what is it, pasta and peanuts? Pizza and Prosecco. Oh, that. I thought that sounded like a brilliant idea. Oh, did you? Well, I wish everyone else had. <laughs> Oh, no. Struggling. More like given up, to be honest. You've always got good ideas, though. Do you reckon? <laughs> Will you just stop it? But I'm sorry, but she's blowing smoke, can't you tell? She'll say anything. And now she's just trying to steal my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Are you laughing at me now? No. Pray I don't. Now, surely it's not just me who's finding this unbearable. The showing off, the bragging, the taking over. You should have seen the way she took over my dad's birthday. Now, I am sorry that we're so boring and provincial here, but some of us have responsibilities like children and jobs, and we can't all be insta-ready 24-7. Seriously, if London was so exciting for you, then why don't you just go back? Nice. Uh, Sweet Oh, it looks great. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I wish Mum and Dad could see it. Come here. Oh. Oh, Debs. Babe, I need a favour. What? You see that puppet thing? Well, the actual puppeteer is not coming because he's ill. Well, I don't like the kids' song. They'll be gutted if it doesn't happen. Oh, no, don't worry about it. It's a big deal. Anyway, why, what, what did you want from me? Oh, babe, don't worry about it. 
I'm probably asking the wrong person. Forget it. Oh, Lydia. Paddy. This is all looking splendid. You have done the old place proud. Thank you. The weather didn't get the memo, though, did it? Look, it looks halfway down the road. Oh. Breathe. Thought Kay might have been here by now. Yeah, he's not the only one missing. I've been bare for about an hour. It's in the bag, Sam. Muck. I did tell him not to. Secret recipe. This stuff will make everything grow like the clappers. No, oh, thank you. Let's get it spread around the tree. You don't think he's forgotten? God, we should have heard something by now. Look who's here. Oh. I know I said I wouldn't come, but... Oh. Any news? No, we don't know. I mean, you should be finished by now, but we haven't heard anything. Well, have you asked anything? There's no one really but two rats. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Matty's through there. Maura, th there'll be a dozen operating rooms through there. Don't jump to conclusions. No. Uh, something bad's happened, I know. Emmerdale continues in half an hour.